Yo, what is going on guys? Today is a historic day for MCOC. We have now seen the debut of featured Paragon Crystals. Starting off with the finally a mutant champion. It's been a long time since we had a mutant champion, Danny Moonstar. And the drop rates uh, for a 7 star Danny are 0.2% which the original drop rates for six stars, uh, when those came out, it was actually half that, 0.1%. So uh, just just to give you guys a reference point for that number. Uh, and then six star Danny is now 0.70%, which um, I think we can go see, this is the old deal, uh, and it was 0.3% here. So much better chance now with the future paragons to get the six star featured uh still under one percent but uh you know more than double of what it was before and then uh th this is the big thing right here for all prizes it says seven star champions are a 1.5 percent drop rate that is massive because regular garbage poopy paragon crystals these ones right here they are only a 1% chance at a 7 star. So it's a 50% increase in the 7 star drop rate for these Paragon, featured Paragon crystals. That's massive, dude. That is massive. So uh, hopefully we just pull one 7 star out of here today. That would be absolutely fantastic. So I already picked up one bundle. Um, should we just, yeah, let's just start with the first bundle see what happens and then uh most likely pick up the second bundle because uh we need to get some seven stars today uh let me show you guys the seven star roster actually first real quick this is what i am working with um so we, we could we can pull anything in here except for lady death strike any any champion here is on the table that we could pull today as a seven star again aside from lady death strike um so i would absolutely love a dupe on sasquatch on domino on titania on uh killmonger and any dupes on those characters would be absolutely fantastic and also man these crystals look so cool look at how cool that looks i love it the black and the yellow just look so sick but i'm pretty sure once we actually start opening them they just look like the normal paragon ones let's see yeah they lose their their where, where, where'd all the blackness go, man? What the heck? It looked so cool before. Now they just look like crappy Paragon Crystals again. Bam. What's the point of making a cool-looking crystal if it's not cool-looking when you open it? That, that kind of defeats the whole purpose, you know? Because I, I just I hate Paragon Crystals so much that I, I don't want to see them. Uh, are we going to pull a 7-star Sauron? He was, man, he was floating around. He was floating around. Um, a 7-star Sauron would be... An, an absolute banger of a pull that would be like an instant addition to my battlegrounds deck dude that would be very very good uh but yeah any seven star would be good man uh i'm not picky anything i will take absolutely anything any new seven star is good uh any dupe on a seven star that i have is good too except for like venom the duck i really don't want to dupe that guy um all right third crystal in we're just getting five stars right now. okay um two five stars and a four star so far not uh not at all what we're looking for for 69 dollars um really just looking for seven stars not even looking for six stars except one there is one six star that i will take out of here and that is uh adam warlock i saw a bunch of people pulling six star adams so that'd be cool but, uh, yeah, no other six-star I'm looking for. That's a five-star Jubilee. No, that's absolutely not what I'm looking for. Uh, also, those deal spammed are so annoying. But, uh, come on, man. This is the debut of these featured Paragons. I I, I swore off the, the early access bundles for the last, like, six months. More than the last half a year because seven stars were announced. I think it was, like, was it November or something? Um, there's definitely 2022 towards the end of 2022 when they announced seven stars and everything. And as soon as that was announced, I was like, okay, I'm done with these early access bundles until seven stars get added to them because then it will actually make sense to spend on them again. Up until that point, I just thought it was, you know, pretty much not worth my money, not worth $69, you know, for the, for five of these, just no. And even after seven stars are added, still pretty rough. That was five already. 
and just absolute trash. Like that was literally just nothing. But I mean, that that's that's the mindset you need to have buying these crystals is that it's going to be garbage. Um, that's the mindset you need to have. All right, let's go buy some more. And just because you know it's the debut of these bad boys, come on, maybe we can get lucky. First five was uh, was all duds. That means all the studs are gonna be in this five, right? One one can hope. Here we go. Got it. We're good. Uh, I do like these 30% boosts as well. Oh, yeah, and also the these uh, seven star shards, 500 seven star shards per bundle, which again, before it was, I believe, 2,500 six star shards. So I really do like the addition of, uh, of seven star shards. What do you guys think of that amount? 500. Do you think that's solid? Do you think it should have been more? I'm very interested to hear what you guys think about that. Um, I feel like it could have been a bit more, maybe a thousand or maybe like 750. Um, but 500, not, uh, not not the worst amount. Okay, <clears throat> five more of these. Let's uh, let's keep quick tapping them. We are now joined by the loading Wi-Fi symbol as well, so maybe you know that can give us some luck, or it can uh, lag the game out. Who knows? And that's a, a five-star strife again. More garbage. That seven star Elsa would have been uh, would have been pretty nice. Don't have a seven star Elsa. That'd be a really good pull, actually. I've heard so many good things about Elsa, and and any like uh, suicide meta would be, should be a, a good uh, addition to have in the deck. More garbage. All right, four star Kitty Pride. Yeah, that's uh, absolutely not what we're looking for. Man, this is this is rough. Um, like on on the day, yeah, these came out yesterday. I was super busy all all day yesterday, um, so I wasn't really on the game much. But I saw screenshots, you know, for Loki. I saw a bunch of people pulling Adam. Saw my best buddy Andy pulled a seven star Danny. Oh, I thought I thought for a second that was gonna roll over. Damn it! I saw a bunch of other Alliance members just pull seven stars. Like, so my hopes were a, a little high for this, and uh, wow, this is this is quite demoralizing so far. Two left. Um, this is uh, this isn't. It. And and I also saw a screenshot of someone pulling three seven star Danny Moon stars. So that was uh, absolutely ridiculous. And here's me pulling four star Archangels and Kitty Prides. Great, great. Let's uh, you know what? I'm just gonna restart my game. Um, I'm I'm yeah. Let's just restart the game. This is garbage, absolute trash. Let's just get a fresh load of the game and uh, yeah, let's let that last crystal spin out. Because wow, I got gotta try something. This uh, this, this opening is uh, is not it. This is this is this is this is not it. Um, Kabam, if you want me to keep bu buying these bundles and keep making these videos, you, you kind of gotta incentivize me here a little bit. You gotta give me a throw me a bone for this first one. Cause if you don't, uh, I don't know. Might 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 stop doing these. Come on, KJ, Kabam Jesus, Kabam Jesus is always listening. I need something here. Come on, give me give me a seven star. Any any anything, any single seven star. I don't care who it is. Even give me a dupe on Venom the Duck. That's fine. Give me something though. Let, let me just see some purple border. Come on, we'll let this one spin out because I quick tapped all the rest and we got all garbage from that. So maybe spin it out to play. Come on, man. Something here. Give me something here. They gave me a dupe on Venom the Duck. That's um That's not funny, Kabam. That's that that's a bad joke. That's a very bad joke. Wow. Okay. Oh my god. That was brutal. That was a waste of like a hundred and... Oh, I don't even want to think about how much it is Canadian with taxes, but it's a lot. Oh god. That was uh, pretty rough. Alright. We're going to open a 7 star because I'm getting a 7 star in this video. It's as simple as that. I just, I just kind of decided that today. I'm like, okay, I'm getting a 7 star today. Either way, either way, I'm getting a 7 star, uh, regardless of uh, how the bundle goes. Let's open up the 6 star featured as well. It's from the Sigil. I'm only missing Viv Vision and Cassie Lang. And we're landing on Cable. 
Fantastic. Yeah, that's great. Sure. Yeah, that's that's what I was looking for. Totally. Sig 120 cable. Nice. That virus. Uh, get up there. Okay. Well, this has been a total crapshoot. Time for uh, the final chance at redemption. Uh. Yeah. Let's let's open this up, man. Ugh. It's gotta be really it's it's gotta be really 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 good because the opening's been really really bad right like that's that's it's gotta be it this is gonna be a dupe on my my sasquatch my that was my very first seven star that that's honestly the number one pull um sasquatch or domino that that's it that's one and two it, it's it's so weird because like when i was first opening up six stars like dupes was the last thing i wanted and, and i kept getting them i kept getting like sig 40s and it really, really, really angered me. Uh, it made me want to just stop playing the game. And now, I, I actually, it's weird, because now I actually want dupes. You know, I want to get Titan Shards. Uh, I want to awaken some of these 7 stars so I can maybe take them up to rank 2. But I just keep pulling new champs. Um, so, yeah. My last 7 star that I got was, uh, was Venom the Duck, which was absolute garbage. So, this one should be something really, really good. Okay, okay, yeah, um, uh, yeah, that is really good, I, I actually really did want a Mystic, um, more Mystic 7 stars, I think, uh, Mystic is, like, the most sacked class, uh, for the initial 7 star pool, so that's really good, I was kind of looking more for America Chavez, uh, or again, like a dupe on, on, on Sasquatch, but Wong is good. Wong is a great pull. Okay. Um what is Wong's awakened ability? Uh Okay, I don't really think he needs that for defense, so this Wong will probably I'll probably put him in my deck. So yeah, that's that's a pretty good pull. All right, guys, that's uh, that's going to do it for my very first featured Paragon Crystal opening. And guess what? It was just as bad as all my other regular Paragon Crystal openings. Who would have thought? But at least we got a 7-star Wong to, uh, to at least make me feel a little bit better. Let me know what you guys think about Wong. Do you think this was a banger pull? you think I should uh, take him to rank 2? Do you definitely think he's worth a spot in my Battlegrounds deck as a defender? Let me know what you guys think. If you guys also went for the Danny Moonstar bundle, let me know if you pulled anything good. If you got a 7-star, make me jealous in the comments. Drop a like for my pain and agony. Subscribe if you want to see more. Peace out.